setting out in search of our native sea life. The calm waters of Cardigan Bay are home to basking sharks and seals, but today it's another resident we're trying to spot. Her calf should be somewhere around. The bottlenose dolphins spend their summer months here, moving further north in winter. We found them out foraging for food, a small group of adults with a young calf. There are around 350 dolphins living here in Cardigan Bay over the summer months. That's Britain's largest population. And they reckon that about 60% of them can be identified by the markings on their fins. The population numbers are stable. But one of the charities which monitors the dolphins here says their behaviour is changing. The Sea Watch Foundation have observed them using different parts of the coast and grouping together in larger numbers. It's worried that there's too much traffic on the water. Vessel traffic in general, not only in Cardinal Bay, worldwide is rising. Um, and it's rising on a, uh, in levels that we haven't, we haven't seen in previous years. And for bonos dolphins which communicate acoustically, uh, having an environment which is silent is very important to them. They use um, their whistles to communicate, to mate, to call one another. And this is not only just for local populations. I mean, you can see the much bigger whales that have to communicate with one another over vast oceans. They need to be able to hear each other. Inevitably, it's not just the scientists who want to enjoy the sea life here. There are commercial boats and a small industry based on dolphin tours. Sea Watch's claims have been disputed. The local wildlife centre says the bay is well managed. We want people to come to the area. We want people to come and see the, these wild animals in the wild. We don't need to go to Florida to, to watch these animals. You can come to Newquay and watch them from the harbour wall or go out on a boat trip. The commercial operators around here are really good. They follow codes of conduct and set routes, um, which is what the dolphins need. They need to know where these boats are going. What everyone can agree on is that the marine life here is spectacular and needs to be respected if it's to be preserved.